YouTube model building community, Chris Chapman coming at you from the Rusty Nuts Model Shop. How's it going this weekend, people? It's going pretty good here with the coffee brewing and stuff. Got me some projects working on. Starting to warm up here in the uh, Rusty Nuts Model Shop. Been rather, rather warm out here in Utah. Lately, it's kind of dipped down and gotten a little bit cooler, but... Heck, we had some 60 degree temperatures here. And yes, I was complaining about how freaking hot it was. <laughs> First one this year. Uh, got a little storm front coming through right now down here in the room. It is 49 degrees. Perfect weather. Uh, haven't done a coffee time in... Oh, it's been like three weekends now. I haven't been doing a whole lot. been trying to keep up on some videos. But I've been focusing on some builds. And I've come to the conclusion that the only time I can get building done is when I leave the uh, Google and the Facebook and the YouTube and all the multimedia if that's what you want to call it. If I just turn that stuff on, turn on my Spotify and just put on some good tunes, kick back, relax. Been getting quite a bit of stuff done. I've had a little bit of an issue. Y'all have seen the uh, 70 Roadrunner. Everything is perfect on that, except I went, had it all cleared. I went and I polished it out with my Meguiar's Chrome Paul or uh, Ultimate Polish. Got done with that and I used my Meguiar's wax on it. Three o'clock in the morning, I said, okay, that's enough. I'll do the body tomorrow. Put the hood off to the side. It was 34 degrees when I went to bed down here in the room and woke up, turned on the coffee maker, brewed me up a cup, turned on Facebook, just checked some things out and stuff, get the day started. And I had five messages from people who had their... Uh, cars that they painted with the uh, floor polish had little cracks and spider webs all over it. And three of them people told me that they had taken them to a car show the day before. And this was on a Sunday. So we sat there kind of discussed. All of us used a different type of polish and wax. Uh, which is the same stuff I've used on a lot of my kits lately. No problems. Uh, Ray 1965, Raymond Plickner, he did a video showing the same thing. He took an older car, if I remember right, he took it to a show, brought it home, and after getting home and back in the warmth, he had some spider web cracks on it. Well, I sat there chatting with these guys, saying, no, I never had that problem. I don't know what it would have caused it, and da, 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 da. And then I glanced over, and I picked up my hood, and sure crap, there's spider web cracks all over in it. I took pictures of it, but you can't see it. I even held it up and tried to get videos, but you can't see it. But if you sit there and move it around, you can see it plain as day with your eyes. Frustrated. I uh, threw it in the uh, LA's Totally Awesome Degreaser to strip it down because I had baked it in there. I went up, tried to wipe it off and stuff with water and things and the soap with soapy water. and It wasn't having nothing to do with it. I baked it on there and I baked it on there good. So threw it in there. I got to redo the hood and I'm glad I stopped with the hood or I'd be redoing the whole body. But we have all come to the conclusion that cold 
It was extremely cold up there on the East Coast where these guys took their model cars to the show. Uh, Raymond had mentioned that it was extremely cold down there in his neck of the woods. I believe he's in Texas. And somewhere, I'm not real positive, but I believe that's where he's at. And it's been uh, really, really cold. And it was cold here. And this is the first time in a while that I've actually gone and had something to wax. And so, discussing some stuff, a friend of mine on Facebook, he went, sanded it down with 2000 grit sandpaper and lightly sanded it until he couldn't see anything put two light coats of future over it, re-waxed it, re-polished it, or vice versa on them too. And he said the cracks are all gone, everything's fine, it looks perfect just like it did before. So apparently it is fixable and had I known that I would have attempted that, but frustration kicked in and I threw it in the purple pond, which mine's not purple. <laughs> The yellow pond. So that was kind of frustrating. So I've got to get back on that here pretty soon. But I decided I'm going to wait for it to warm up a little bit. I've decided I want to take this build to the uh, GSL show coming up here. End of April, 1st of March. And huge, huge show coming up here. I understand that the hotel's already booked up solid. And they're sending emails out telling people to go to other hotels around the area and stuff. So uh, it's going to turn out to be a pretty big show. Real excited about it. So with me putting that on hold, I got some painting. Everything was going great on my uh, cancer awareness build. Until I had one issue. Come on, everything stay where you're supposed to. That's not the one with the issue. My door here has got some issues. That's kind of bright. Let's take that up a little bit. And it's my own mistake. Taping things off for the paint. I didn't get a section taped off. Looking at it, I was thinking, oh, okay, that'll be a pretty easy fix. I went in, cleaned it up, and then I buggered it up even more. Now i got to redo this door. And I need to redo this door before I can do any more painting on it because... My base coats are all done is all I've got is my main clear and stuff. And yes, you're seeing the back of the uh, door because I don't want to give away any color, whatever. Whoa, did you see how fancy schmancy that was <laughs> and stuff. But for Cliff, I do kind of feel like I need to let you know color has gone on. The build of everything... It's coming along. If it wasn't for that door, this thing would be cleared and everything, and I would um, have more done on it. But the problem that I'm kind of seeing and stuff is as I painted this, I painted so many multiple colors and things, it's coming up with some weird colors and stuff on it. Not all of them laid down perfect. and It is what it is, but... Give you a quick peek. There you go. Now you've seen it. Color on it. So, I'm going to get back on this this next week. Get this door redone here. So, once I get that done, I can get my clear going. Um, another thing, because of my issues with the. Uh, cooler temperatures and things I've got my uh, secret GSL build 
on hold. Got nine weeks before the show, and I've got ten weeks worth of work to do on it. But I'm afraid I may ruin it if I continue to do any more. So I'm going to have to just crunch later, I guess. So with that happening, I've decided to go ahead, of which I decided not to do, but now I am doing a box stock bill to enter into the competition class. And I am going to do this one 100% box stock. No add-ons, no nothing. Just do a nice clean as I can get it build and it's this kit here for my competition class I don't have any other dragsters I will have soon <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute so I've got that one building I have everything that I could do so far painted Sanded. Ready for paint. So yes, I'm going to start doing some painting on this today. I already got some on. I got my chassis done. And that's supposed to be an aluminum tub. Now you've got the white dots on here. You guys are probably going to be noticing. And again, let's see if we can't move that around so that way you can see it more. That's where I put my Elmer's glue down. And then after I paint everything, I just flick it off with my fingernail or an exacto, whatever. And that way I have a nice clean bare spot to do my gluing. So the, yes, those are not mistakes. They were intentionally done. So I've got my chassis here all done. And it's supposed to be aluminum and I don't have any aluminum paint. So I did it a sterling silver and then I just featured the heck out of it. Made it nice and shiny, aluminous -y looking like kind of thing. And I'm going to get my panel that goes on here, my firewall. I'm going to paint it. It's uh, supposed to be a semi-gloss black. I'm going to get it painted and put on. Then I get to put on the whole front uh, roll cage things and all that stuff. Once I get that on, I'll mask this off. Paint that all up at the same time so that it's all going to be together and painted and I will be at the same time painting the roll cage because it's all semi-gloss black and I am doing this one here as close to what the box suggests for um, colors and everything I mean it's gonna basically Bob Glidden would look at that and say holy crap that's my car That's my plans anyway. Although I doubt if you'll ever see it. I even have my uh, cowl all puttied up so I get it sanded. So I've been focusing on getting that done and just kind of working it. This one here I kind of did different too. I started the very number one thing on the motor. Got everything all sanded down and went from step to step. Working on each piece as you go. Once I got to a point where I could add paint, I put paint on like the motor here. Again, that's the sterling silver with future over it. I kind of didn't do this one here real shiny because I just want that aluminum machine look to it. So, and I think I got it. Got that still. It's supposed to be still up here. Of which, I don't have any still paint right now either. So, I ended up going with the gunmetal gray. Yeah, it'll work. So, just going to try to, and this is something I haven't done in a long time, is just build a box stock build, and something I've never done, to the box specifications. And I'll tell you what, I'm having a lot of fun with this one. There's no thinking to it. It's all told to me, hey, do aluminum here, do this here, put that there, put that there. 
you know, no cutting, no measuring, no changing, no fabrications. Just a relaxing build. Kick back, put it together. I'm hoping by the time I get some of this other stuff painted and put together, I still got to sand out the body. That's the only thing that I have left to do. Of which I'm picking me up some sandpaper tomorrow, thanks to some friends of mine here in the local community. So once I get that done, I'm going to get it painted. Hopefully everything will warm up enough to where I can get all of these builds put together and polished out and stuff right. So that's kind of my update of where I'm at. I ended up getting some military uh, 172nd scale trucks done. And I'm going to be doing a video on this here later on today. There's that little thing, and then I got this little, let's see, you got it right there, little amphibious thing, and these little teeny tiny motorcycle. So, that one there was just, okay, I got to wait for glue and things to dry, so. Spent two days on it. Worked out pretty good. I like the way it came out and stuff. So hopefully I'll get an update on that done today too. A um, couple things I wanted to touch on here real quick. And I appreciate it. I thank you for the uh, few people on a couple of my latest videos. And I never looked. I, I didn't even really realize I know it was there but not a few people have well a couple people have put a thumbs down on a couple of my videos which is fine you don't like them you don't like them cool but doesn't do me any good there are ways to change things and make them better and ways to not change things and make them better and the best way to make them better is to change them to make them better instead of not changing them so that they're not better people if you have an issue you're thinking you know what I don't like this this kind of sucks don't just do a thumbs down tell me in the comments so I can decide well if other people feel the same way it's worth changing I can ask, say, hey, what? Don't like my video for whatever reason. Please tell me why so that maybe I can make an adjustment on the next one so that maybe you will. Or I can say, you know what? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> Just, that's what it is. I had one guy turn around. He said, man, these are great videos, but have you ever heard of, and then in big letters, have you ever heard of editing? And you all know, no, I, I have heard of it. So I replied back, said, no, I don't. Does it show? Never heard back from him, so I don't know. But it was cool because he kind of said, hey, you need some editing. And I admit, my videos could use a lot of editing, <laughs> especially facts, that, you know, firecracker, poop, 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 make them exciting or something. But at least he was like, hey, you know, great video, but edit it. Make it nicer, cleaner, neater, smoother, whatever. I appreciate it. I appreciate the comment. And, yeah, I don't know editing. I'm trying to get into it. But right now I've got builds i got to get done. More time I spend at my computer, the less time I get to build. And I plan on getting some building done this year soon. So, yeah, no editing right now. Maybe in the future it'll come. We'll see. Kind of uh, up in the air on that. But, yes, I do admit it. So, yeah, if there's a problem, you know, please don't just put a thumbs down. Please tell me what it was. So that I can decide if it's going to be worth trying to figure out a better way of doing it or not. And if it's something that is eh, somewhat big but not real important. Not too many people will care, but they might. So I might come on and say, hey, I had this suggestion. What do you think? And then we'll let the community decide. 
because I'm here for you people. <laughs> you guys are pathetic. But I love y'all. So please, if you're going to turn around and do that, or maybe I'll just do what Dr. Cranky does and just disable that. But then I'm afraid that nobody's going to say it. At least if somebody put the thumb down, I know somebody didn't like it. and kind of bothers me, and I wish everybody would like everything I do, but judges don't always agree either, so what the hell. So, I've got one more thing that I've got to talk about. I've had some people that have helped me out, and everybody knows it, and I've sent off a few things to some people, and I don't do a lot of uh, videos or, hey, I just sent this to this person and stuff, because, one, I, I know what it was like needing some assistance, needing some parts and things, and kind of feel like a loser when you're like, I really wish I had this, and I just don't have it. And then somebody sends it to you, just warms the heart, makes you feel great. And so I've kind of, and you know, you people that have received stuff, know. Those that haven't, know that they haven't needed it yet. Or I haven't had it to share or give away. I don't have a whole lot. I have a total of 14 kits. And out of them 14 kits, I have five of them still that I haven't built that were sent to me just out of the kindness of people's heart. And it means a lot to get a package from somebody who says, hey, I liked your videos. I liked your tutorials. Wanted to give you something to help out thank you type thing and stuff and it means a lot to all of us and I wish you know like everybody else I wish I had a lot of stuff that I could just send everybody in the community something just to show how much I appreciate them being here and showing off their work and following along and stuff but I just don't and a lot of people are in that same boat they just don't I don't have 1,500 kits stashed over here and five closets and two boxes and a storage unit. So, I know what it's like to get something. I have know that there's a lot of people out there that could use stuff. And so, I purposely backed out of entering some of the drawings that you people have been doing for your subs or for this or for that. Just to give other people that might be deserving of it a chance. And then I see Roadhog on Cliff does a video and says it really makes me feel bad that you guys are asking not to be a part of it. It just, you guys are part of my subscriber and that's what this is about. And you guys should be a part of it, but I'll go ahead and honor your wishes and withdraw your names. And he goes, all you have to do is leave a comment down below, and we'll go from there. Pick somebody, and that's it. So I ended up making a reply to him, and I said, well, Cliff, I was going to pull out, but I don't want you to feel bad. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this, because I know my luck is bad enough I won't win anyway, so it really won't matter. And then Cliff's wife, bless her heart, went pulled my name out and I ended up winning that Chevelle. <laughs> so I learned the trick to, to winning these. And people, I've got it trademarked. And all of my comments on these things are all going to be that same comment. So please don't try to steal it from me. My own little, whoo, I figured out a way to win type thing. But Cliff, I appreciate it, man. That's... Just the fact that you're doing that, giving it away. I know you've been down and out. You haven't been feeling good. You've had some issues and surgeries and things. And you're slowly getting back to the bench and everything. And to turn around and take the time and what little you have to share with the community. I think it's really cool that you did that. And I think it's really, really cool that your wife picked me. Wasn't expecting it. Was hoping somebody else would get it. 
but the fact of the matter is, is I've been wanting to do that kit for a long time. Hence the reason I said earlier that it's my only dragster and I'll get to this later. This is going to be a fun kit to build. And like I mentioned to you in the comments when I sent the uh, address to you, that if you want it built this year, that's fine. I promise I'll have it done, but it's going to require me to put my cancer awareness build that was due last year off to the side so I can work on it. So it's up to you, buddy. Do you want it done this year or do you want the cancer build done? Ball's in your court, buddy. <laughs> No, nah, I'm going to have both of them done this year. I've got some plans and stuff. I'm excited about doing some drags or something different. i still got to get Cranky's build started. I guess it started because the thought and ideas are right here. But I need to actually get production done. Oh. Well, people been three weeks got a 25 minute video up and i was thinking this is going to be short but it wasn't and oh hey really quick i wanted to show you something i've been doing some uh test painting with some acrylics and i've with the uh, floor polish and the acrylic paints been able to come up with making candy colors i have a spoon here and Yes, I I haven't put any clear coat on this or anything, but while it was sitting there drying after my last coat of paint, my dog knocked it off onto the floor and it buggered it up. But look at that shine. You can see where my dog got it. There's no clear coat or anything on that. That is a silver, sterling silver base and just a very lightly tinted red floor polish no clear coat no nothing and the reason I tested that out is because part of my build for this T-Bird is it wanted transparent red valve covers I don't have transparent red so I made it all on my own there we are look at the way that thing shines Yeah, it's just a chrome valve cover with the floor polish future sprayed over it. And the future stuck great to the chrome. And it has that anodized chrome look to it. So, get to pick me up some spoons today or tomorrow. And I'm going to do some more test shots and stuff. I want to see what this will look like over a gold base and, you know, a uh, gunmetal base. So, doing some practice test shots and things. I'll bring an update on my findings and everything here pretty soon. So, well, look at that. Look at that. That's going to look awesome. Woo Mr. Model Car Builder here now. People. Chris Chapman, Rusty Nuts Model Shop. Have a great weekend. We'll talk at you probably sooner than later, unless if it's later, but then when it gets there, it'll actually be sooner. So we'll talk at you sooner then. Ciao.